Hey everyone, this is the story of the time we took a break from living in Nevada for the winter and we flew off to Hawaii. So we spent a month on Oahu. We spent the first two weeks in an Airbnb suite in the neighborhood of Waikai and we spent another two weeks in a condo in downtown Honolulu. This was the first time that uh, I had ever seen Hawaii. Lori had been there before, but for me, this was like nothing I had ever seen before. The tropical landscape, the humidity, it was just a mind-blowing experience to see that kind of paradise. So we land at the airport, it's, all, it's dark already, it's late at night, and, uh, we, and we pick up our rental car and we headed for the Airbnb suite that Lori had found for us before we got there. And this was basically one room off of someone's house. Uh, turns out that our Airbnb host uh, is a very cool guy. Ended up throughout this trip striking up a friendship, one that lasts to this day. Do you remember the time? And the place, the place that we found on Airbnb was was the one bedroom um, outside of his home with an outdoor shower and the whole bit. But at one point he went off to work for um, off island and offered us his master suite to stay. So we go into his suite and it was just beautiful with the double doors opening off into his backyard that it ascended up a mountainside. So I mean, this VIP was really paying off. Yeah, I forgot about that outdoor shower. Now that we've got our home base taken care of, it's time for us to head out and experience Hawaii. For me, the pleasant climate was very invigorating. To go out in what's normally the middle of winter for us Canadians and to see this beautiful sunny surroundings, many people out there active, um, exercising, in shape. For me it was very contagious. I was um, definitely willing to get involved. I may not have been in the best shape to do so. But anyway, we got after it. Got into some pretty big hikes right away, which had some amazing viewpoints. I found the beach life in Hawaii to be amazing. We would go there as often as we could. Different beaches for different moods. Some of them were calm, some of them were very tumultuous, some of them were beautiful for surfing and body surfing. And uh, we really enjoyed adding a component of beach life to our daily experiences. That honey caught my eye, I'm looking away from the camera. <laughs> I'm going to see your camera stuff. Yeah. Having an additional component of beach life for a couple of Canadian kids from the prairies who are used to basically living winter, where very short sunlight hours, extremely cold, you basically hibernate just to stay alive. Going from that to tropical Hawaiian paradise where you can enjoy the beach whenever you want, it was a new experience that we certainly wanted more of. Our Airbnb host, through his generosity, he enriched our experience very significantly when he allowed us to enjoy some time in one of the high-end properties that he was associated with. And uh, on the other side of the island, was it Lanai? Is that what it's called? Lole? Hawaii. Lulu? Hawaii? No, it was... Uh, was it Hawaii? Laie. Laie. This house was on the other side of the island, more towards the North Shore. And uh, it was sprawling and gorgeous. It was right on the water, multiple rooms, beautiful, huge kitchen. Um, we were set up in a, in a very nice bedroom Sweet. that night had a pool. I don't think we wanted to leave. That was a memorable experience. Thanks again for that. Something we won't forget anytime soon. Speaking of the North Shore, we enjoyed the beaches over there. The waves were massive. I remember going into the beach there. There was some surfing going on and I thought, oh, I'll go on the beach and do some body surfing a little bit. Once I got in there, I realized that these waves were a lot stronger than I initially thought. I wasn't in there for very long and I see the lifeguard frantically waving from his chair. Hey, get out of there, prairie boy, before you get swept away to your death. I, I wasn't smart enough to be scared at the time, but when I think back on it, it was kind of a dicey situation. So after fighting tumultuous waves like that, you can build up an appetite. Lori and I did enjoy the different kinds of cuisine and foods available. We had a couple of things that were pretty unique. Not the spam, sorry. <laughs> Never really fully got into the spam, although I'm sure it's wonderful, uh, but did have some very enjoyable treats along the way. In addition to hanging out with my dad and his wife, we also had the pleasure of a visit from my auntie, which you'll see is a recurring theme in these videos, so it's nice to uh, reunite with them from time to time over the winter. 
Somewhere along the way, we moved from the Airbnb into a condo suite right in the heart of downtown Waikiki, Honolulu. This was a bit of a unique experience because it was our own space now and it was in the heart of the hustle and bustle. I think it was about a five minute walk. <laughs> I think it was about a five minute walk down to Waikiki Beach, which we ended up spending quite a bit of time on. The beach life that we were able to enjoy while we were there left us wanting more. And it has definitely been a recurring component in what we look for in our winters away since then. I think that was the time that it was first decided we needed to be at the beach more often. This experience of the Hawaiian tropical paradise changed my mind forever. I was never the same since then. I didn't even know before that that tropical places had such a positive impact on me and that I wanted to experience more of that. So after Lori finally convinced me to go to Hawaii, I think it was at this point the Hawaiian experience converted me completely to wanting geographical independence in my life as long as I could going forward. Our hearts still beat in time. What if our love is alive? What if our hearts still beat in time? If you like these stories of our travel and some of the other things we talk about, click the like button. Consider subscribing to our channel. Hit that notification button so you always know when the next video is coming out. In one of our previous videos, we talked about the time we lived in Nevada and Arizona for two months. You might want to catch that. In one of our upcoming videos, we'll talk about the first time we lived in Costa Rica, Tamarindo, for three months. My name's Eric. I'm Lori. My name is Eric. I'm Lori. And this is Plan Free. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Because I'm, like, I'm like this. And... My name is Eric. I'm Lori. This is Plan Free. Thanks for watching. See you again soon. Bye for now. Hey. It's okay, you gotta warm up. Get, get friendly with the camera. Yeah, okay. <coughs> <coughs>